<laughs> I'm going to say that again. Six years, we first started talking about this, and they kept saying no. Now that leadership isn't there anymore, because <laughs> we usher in a new era in the DC universe, and we usher out an old era. My source told me that those cheeks that I put on the shelf, <laughs> I can actually put them in storage. Yeah, they're done. So you they're, they're, they're deep, all the way gone. You could deep freeze them cheeks. Yeah, they're we're, really we're, we're good, man. They're gone. They're yeah. gone. Yeah, Jack, don't make me rip out my boots. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another discussion here at Three Shades of Whatever. More of The Rock mm -hmm. talking DC, talking Superman, a Black Adam, the whole spiel. Yeah. And I need to hear it. I need to see it. We need to talk about it, right? You yeah. want to talk about it? Because I need to talk about it. Yeah. Before we go, stay silent. They are chanting The Rock's name. It sounds more like Superman to me. While they're chanting. That works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You buy a candle, make your room smell good. That's right. Yeah. Sent right. by Danielle. We have some interview fo footage from Jake's takes. Hot interviews come from him. We got some other pieces from other people as well. But I want to get into some of these interview pieces and see what's actually being said from The Rock. Go ahead. All fans, we, we want to see Black Adam face Superman. It's just yeah. it's just what we want to see. Yeah. You talked about listening to the fans. Um, what does that fight look like in your mind, and who lands the first punch? I think Black Adam lands the first punch. Now, I don't know if Black Adam lands the last punch, mm -hmm. uh, because Superman, I grew up a DC boy. Superman, I love Superman. I loved Superman, and I still do. Uh, clearly. <laughs> yes. You have a filmmaker's vision, though. You understand what makes good movies. Is, th is this is the scene already built in your mind? Is it raining? Is it sunshine? Like, do you, can you see it in your mind right now when you think about it? Jake, I could see things so clearly uh, on how that scene looks like, what that scene looks like, what the film looks like, what the next three films look like. Now, whether or not that three comes films? to fruition, uh, that always helps when you have that kind of clarity. But here's what I do know. Listening to the fans when I was wrestling, mm -hmm. Uh, always led and guided me, just like now. So for the past 10 years, as I was pushing Black Adam uh, up this hill to get made, uh, for the past five, six, seven years. I gotta pause it there. I, he basically said that verbatim on our last discussion. He said it discussion. word for word. I said he listens to the fans because he's a professional wrestler. You know what word. else? He Play needs tricks on your nerves. He needs a dance partner. Yes. Could he headline three WrestleManias without Stone Cold Steve Austin? No, hell no. No! So he's Black Adam, he's a huge character. He needs Superman and other villains as well. He needs to beat other villains to get to the main person. I mean, they basically, made, in the, the, the teasers we've seen, he ba Black Adam is basically a Superman that kills people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you know what I'm saying? saying? Their yeah, powers are comparable. Him. Yeah. The, the fight's gonna be great. And, and they got two superstars playing both people. DC is literally like they handed the ball off to Barry Sanders with the best offensive line ever. Oh, easy peasy. Mm. Straight up the middle. They even go. put super glue on his arms. Like, you can't, you cannot <laughs> fuck this nah, shit up. can't, bro. Let's go. I was also listening to the fans mm -hmm. at the same time, where you have Black Adam. We will create Black Adam for him to be the most powerful and unstoppable force on this planet. The most powerful and unstoppable force in the entire universe has been on the sidelines for too long. You said that too, sir. You <laughs> said you that too, you sir. About, like, the next three films, you talk about the future. One of the crazy things that we've stars. seen. You can read minds. Is he in you guys' heads? I I have no idea, bro. How Did does he, he go? It is? He goes it... right from what he said to what I said. Does he watch the channel? That's nuts. Yo, that's crazy, bro. New clip. I'm putting the shades back. Yeah, okay. Because we got more okay. clips to see. Time warp wrestling I don't bars. Wanna, I don't want to wait too I long. Gave, I my gave. emotions are through the roof right now. I'm feeling it in my chest. So now we know <laughs> Superman and Black Adam. We know it's coming. Yes. For sure. 100%. That, yeah, we've we've wanted DC. We, we, we got the golden nugget. We got the diamond. Yeah, DC yeah. fumbles that golden they're just, nugget. They're in storage. They're easy yeah. to get. Look, to. I think, I think now me. it's going to be up to the fans. Yeah. I think all the people out there that are just straight Marvel fans and DC haters, you need to get over that bullshit. Yeah, You're going to fall out them cheeks. Like, like, no, I right. do love Marvel. Like Everybody just sees me as a DC fan. I am not just a DC yeah, man, fan. Just, I love Marvel. I love comic we, books. Yeah, 
Yeah, we, we watch and react I, to Marvel I shit. I just grew up on DC like that. You, you know, know what, what I mean? it is? It's not a Marvel versus DC thing. It's just we want to see DC do the level of things Marvel did. Because yes. Marvel truly took it to another level. Like it's They're talk. having a down season, yeah. a couple seasons. It's just like a team. And they, yeah, they, they fumbled a couple of things. They fumbled. They fumbled. They bumbled. If you can see what we look at from the other side of the camera, over there on the shelf is the Avengers. Over there on the shelf is the Justice League. All facts. It's just facts. facts that's facts, the way it is facts, here. You facts. know what I mean? And, uh, There's also an 18-inch... Never mind. Never mind. We'll we'll, Saying like that's going to make them think so dirty, bro. Whoa. Private. That's private. It, it, Whoa. It's not private. It's a freaking Superman statue. Don't listen oh. to us. Yo. <laughs> Is that what you call is, is that what you call them? Full yeah. stop. I am Listen, just full stop. There's a few times I must have found some Superman statues and some friends' drawers. Is that why you asked me to borrow him? <laughs> Hiya. Okay, there's also a clip that I've been sent of Dwayne on Instagram. Again, these are things that I I get saved. My source tells me save this for the channel, so I save it for the channel. When it comes to DC material, this guy is my dude, and he is on point. There's a clip of The Rock on Instagram basically teasing. Like, we've already seen the other thing with Jake's takes, but this is another tease of his own, right? Okay. Let's see what he has to say. I just saw the movie again last night. I can't wait for you guys to see Black Adam. He is the most powerful and unstoppable force on this planet. On this planet. He can't, he can't help himself. He, he actually he, can't help himself. He's like, what are they, that's how excited. <laughs> yo, he reminds me of you, dude. I know. If you if yeah. you if you did it all, like all natural bodybuilding, like him and got real big and yeah. we were Black Adam. Yeah. That's I think that's what you would have done. Like I gotta tell everybody. I, gotta I, I tell totally everybody. would. Yeah. I gotta I tell everybody. Would. Yeah, I totally would. He's the strongest on right this yeah. planet. Ha! <laughs> wink, wink. He's, Nobody knows what I'm talking about. He's probably shit at hiding gifts for his kids at Christmas. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you want one? Right. I'll give you one right now. Dad, Dad it's in the it's, kitchen, it's, it's Dad. It's October. <laughs> we basically already got the juice, but I've got like three more clips for us to watch, so... The juice. Who gave you the juice? Uh, um, uh, the Rock gave you the juice? Secret. Secret juice. Do you plan at this moment to make the movie that is teased in the, in the end credits? Absolutely. That is the whole point. One big question about a possible return of somebody else. Well, I mean, by design, we created that moment at the end of the movie where it's just going to spark a conversation. I'm going to ask you a real quick a couple things, the, the mid-credit scene. Mm -hmm. The end credit. Yeah, the yeah. end credit scene. We got a little taste so of what's so, to come. Yeah, everybody's yes. got to know. Yes. Every, they all just so, watched they, Yeah, the they all movie. just saw it. Now they're having a, a, a post-movie yeah. interview with him. Yeah. But I will say this, though. I love the fact that we know now, and that is great. But yeah. it does, it can ruin the payoff. No. But even though at the end of, I'm talking about the payoff on this movie. Obviously, in the future, it really doesn't matter. They're still going to make great movies. Everybody's right? going to still want to be there and see it, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, and they're still going to lose actually, their minds guess, just the same. Guess what? Seeing him on screen. You know what? I'm actually like, wrong. As I'm saying it, it might even make more money because of it. I agree. I think mm -hmm. that's why they did it. They said, now there's even more reason to come and see. How many people are going to go see it just for the end credits? We're going to see it just for the end credits. I mean, I yeah. mean, not just for the end no, credits. No, but, but that's uh, uh, my whole point now. I mean, geez. everybody, Anybody that's watched this channel long enough knows what kind of Superman fan I am. Yeah. I mean, hello, entire sleeve dedicated. You know we're going to see that for the end credits. More than the end credits, but you know. Yeah. You've been here this for a while. This movie's going to be so you know. good. I'm hearing it. It's a freaking action-packed, just adventure, crazy. Bro, what we've seen from the, like... I heard that's from start to end. That's craziness. Oh. Yeah. Let's see what else. Jesus. I'm gonna ask you a real quick a couple things. Cause the the mid credit scenes. Mm -hmm. The end credit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the yeah. end credit scene. Yeah, you got a little taste of yeah. what's so happy. to come. Yes. 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 So, what you saw at the end of the movie that everyone is early mm -hmm. now losing their minds over. Yes. <laughs> um, that's a reflection of listening. To the fans okay and that's also a reflection of building to something okay big. okay this next clip was labeled about man of steel 2. jeez jeez oh so my this god this is not a porn hub compilation right that boy ain't right no it's not that greg it's gonna be the rock who's me is this uh, uh, let's see what else the rock has to say <laughs> Is out of the bag when it comes to uh, Henry Cavill coming into the mix. How much did you have to do with that? Oh, she didn't even care. Didn't she straight up said his name. Man Nobody else has done that. Too. Well, here's what I can tell you. I can tell you that uh, 
The whole goal and initiative of Black Adam was to build out the DC Universe by introducing not only Black Adam, not, but the entire JSA. Five, five superhero characters, new, new superhero characters in one movie. And also, as I have been saying all along, um, th there's an ethos that we at Seven Bucks have. Seven Bucks Productions. Myself, my co-founder Danny Garcia, and Hiram Garcia, and that is... Who is also Henry Cavill's agent. Yeah. Audience comes first. So, for years, audiences have been so passionate and vocal about... We've established Black Adam as the most powerful and unstoppable force on our planet, but the fans have been so passionate about, well, where, and as we have been, where is the most, un, where is the most unstoppable and um, where is the most unstoppable force you can in do the universe? Where is he? Well, the best talker in WWE history is just like I fought over Bumble. Black Adam for 15 years. Uh, Danny has been fighting for six years. Hiram has been fighting for six years, 15 years. We've all been fighting for this moment. So I will say this. Welcome home. Welcome home. That's right. That's beautiful. Welcome Hold on. home. Hold on. I got to stretch my back anyway. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm Welcome taking a lap for the rock. He, he said, said, Welcome home, dog. If you don't get this DC Universe straight, I'm going to turn this some bit sideways. That's beautiful, man. That is beautiful, man. And stick it straight up all your candy I buttocks. I ain't going to be able to handle the emotion. This is this shit is punching me in the guts. And bro, remember videos in the past where we were talking, I'm like, if we, if they don't build off of The Rock, such a superstar, and look how good, like, he talks about it the right way, he does all the right things, he knows what he is doing, and I love the fact that he's a huge player at the helm of this. I feel like a big-ass little kid right now, man. Yeah. 15 years, he says. 15 he, wait, years. so he's been trying to get Black Adam made for 15 years? He's been. Is that what he's saying? I'm guessing he's been yes, championing roughly. this whole thing. Yes, roughly, yes, because... He was back before it was even really a DCEU talk of being signed on as Black Adam. Well, we're here now. Yeah, because... Took a while, but we got here. Dude, though. just the fact that Henry is back, the fact that we're going to get to see him with dialogue. I see a lot of people complaining in articles saying that I... Uh, because supposedly the, the end credit scene is... Waller shows up and says that you need to, like, to tell Black Adam that you need to stay in Kondok. This is your prison now. Something like that, to those lines. It's always Waller. And Have a seat, he Waller. says, no man on this planet can stop me. Uh huh. And she comes back with, well, then I'll have to get somebody who's not from this planet. And in walks Superman. Oh, man. Well, people are bitching saying, why would Superman listen to Waller? Because mm. he was very much anti-government. I don't think that we're going to get the Snyderverse here. For lack of a better term, and I've actually heard this okay. term online, I'm stealing the term, we're getting Snyderverse light. I'm okay with it. Which would make sense. I'm okay with it, man. Makes sense. I'm okay with it. Anything with less calories. I'm you know, we're talking yeah. about getting Henry Cavill back as Superman, other characters back from the DCEU as their characters, which I'm friggin' ecstatic about. The rumor still is that we are still getting Michael Keaton as Batman for now, and that, some, uh, uh, that Batman, uh, 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 Ben Affleck's Batman is lost in time. Lost in lost time. Lost in time. That, in my mind, could lead to a crisis. It sure could. And could you imagine Dog? Ben Affleck's Batman running around in time? Could you imagine crisis on the big screen? Oh, Maybe Ben so Affleck will lose a couple pounds while he's running around the universe. That's possible. His head's possible. a little big in, those, in those, that mask. Well, he's supposed to be like I mean, the Dark Knight Returns. Ha! Just saying. Yeah. Just saying. He was an older Batman. Just saying. So let me ask Tablet you. Tablets blow so down a little bit. If that's the case, and okay, Waller has asked Superman for you know his his help, that would be true to the um, that'd be true to more of the comic book. Yes, and that's my point. Is like right? in the DCEU, yes, he was anti-government. He didn't want to be held down by anybody. But the real Superman will work alongside with the government and do things. Right. And I think that I I think that we're going to get. Snyder light meaning we're getting basically the characters back, but the continuity is going to change. Yeah. The way I'm hearing it is we're going to get a brighter, more traditional Superman, and that Henry Cavill is going to have a shit ton more of uh, voice in, in, in the development of his character. And why, and, sir? Why? Because he's listening, they're listening to the fans. Thank you! Oh, also, thank you. Um, oh, thank you, Mr. Rock. I mean, we don't know what the storyline is. We don't know how Waller 
convinces Superman. No. I mean, I, I gotta wait to maybe, see it because maybe I'm Superman not a, went to her and be like, "Yo, we need to see about this guy." And she's like, "Let me talk to him first. And when he does, says what he says to her, yeah. she's like, "All right, well, I got somebody." In the right. Way. I just, I, get, I just hope Black Adam just takes her head and squeezes it and it pops. Like no, nah, Waller is too important. You, yeah, I love to hate her. She's I'd, too ooh, important. I would love to see that. No, but I just yeah. don't believe in her for some reason. Sometimes that's the whole like, point of Amanda Waller, bro. But uh, she gets the job done. Yes, she does. Let's stay till the job is done. I don't know what's going on. I'm really tired. My brain's like mush. Don't listen to him. 